Hey guys, and welcome to Lovecast, the boys' love podcast, uh, where we talk about everything related to boys' love. I'm your host, Pixie, and with me are my co-hosts, Alexa and Coco. Hey guys. guys. Today, we have a very special guest with us, the Pokemon master himself, (laughs) Perth. (laughs) Welcome. I wasn't expecting Hi. that introduction. That was really good. <laughs> hey, y'all. What kind of other games do you like to play? I'll answer your question first, then I'll go off on the mm-hmm. tangent. So, yeah. Um, <laughs> the games I grew up playing, so Pokemon, what else? And then, like, so, okay, PS1, I was playing, like, games like Spyro, oh Crash my Bandicoot. God. Spyro. Then there were, like, a, wow. few, a few random, like, mm-hmm. Disney games, like Tarzan. Yeah. <laughs> Toy Story, things like that. Those yeah. are the first things that come to mind. And then, like, moving on to Xbox, and there's, like, Halo, Fable. Yeah. Pretty mainstream games. And then there was, like, PSP, and then, like, I play all kind of random games. Like, there was, like, heaps of, like, Dragon Ball Z fighting games. Mm-hmm. So I would play those. And then, oh, and then, like, Nintendo DS. So, obviously, like, there's, like, Pokemon, Mario games, like Mario 64, mm-hmm. but, like, the DS version. Yeah. Oh, do you guys play Nintendogs? Did anyone play that? Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> I've tried it. <laughs> yeah, my mom bought me one, yeah. <laughs> yeah, and obviously, like, you know, oh, I eventually got one, but before I got one, I got Nintendogs, and then all my friends <laughs> got Nintendogs, even the ones with dogs, and it was, like, the coolest game. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, because it, that game is about keeping a dog alive, or? Yeah, yeah. Well, like, you don't keep, you it have... doesn't die. <laughs> and, okay. Yeah, like, no. <laughs> like, I was going to say, because when I was a kid, we had the, the Tamagotchis. Tamagotchis. Yeah, Tamagotchi. they would yeah, die. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go- Tamagotchi. Yeah, uh, yeah. We had, well, we had Tamagotchis too, but I had Digimon instead. Ah. Mm. <laughs> so, yeah, <laughs> I remember those, those died. Yeah, I remember. That was really sad. Yeah. And it's like, the older it gets, the more easily it dies. And it's like, yeah. Uh, yeah. you know, you, you you just leave it like with its poop for like one day and it's dead. And, and you're dead. like, oh, man, yep. now you can start <laughs> yep. from an egg like all over again. <laughs> Uh, but anyway, yep. <laughs> so like Nintendogs, uh, I can't mm. remember. And then like, then there was like PS3. I can't even remember the games I played. This is so sad. Yeah. But then like, so like Bioshock, mm. The Last of Us. The Last of Us was like amazing. Mm-hmm. And then like, there was like a few, just like random, just like pretty mainstream stuff like GTA 4. And then like, there's like Wii, like yeah. Super Mario Galaxy. Sorry, this is yeah. becoming such a long way to answer. Okay, going <laughs> off on my tangent, I'm not good at playing scary games. I stay right away from scary oh, games. Except same. when I would go to my best friend's house, his older brother would always be playing them. Like he'd be playing like Resident Evil, Dead Space. Oh my god! <laughs> and but it's fun to watch if you're not playing. Like it's not that scary. It's actually like really fun. But yeah, I was just gonna say you're playing Resident Evil tonight on your stream, aren't you? <laughs> yeah, I'm, play, I'm playing Resident Evil 4 on the stream tonight, which is the first time oh I'll be playing gosh. Resident Evil. So we'll see how that goes. Like, I watched some <laughs> reviews just to like prep myself for, just to see. Like, I mean, I knew it was a good game, but like everyone says, like Resident Evil 4 is like one of the good ones. So I was like, okay, I'll get it, and it was okay. on sale on the eShop. But I don't yeah. know. We'll see how it goes. I I started playing this other scary game called Yo Amari. Okay. And it's 2D, like it's not even 3D, and it scared me. Scared. And I saw the chat getting like kind of like a bit quiet and being like, Ugh. and I was like, yeah, let's yeah. just stop this game and we'll just like go back to like Animal Crossing or something. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's probably a little too much of a deep dive when they come for like happy go lucky Perth and just yeah. deep down into like a horror game. <laughs> Because it started from playing Little Nightmares, but Little Nightmares mm-hmm. isn't scary. It's more like, what's the word? Like suspenseful. It's more like mm-hmm. tense. It's not actually mm-hmm. like scary or horrifying. Like you just get trapped. Like there's like some weird people will come after you, but like you're not actually scared. But yeah. the scariest game I've played up until now is probably The Last of Us. Mm-hmm. But mm-hmm. The Last of Us is like yeah. half zombie people, half real people. So yeah. I just mm-hmm. try and like get through the zombie areas as fast as possible. And then I have mm-hmm. no problem disposing of yeah i don't even think i finished that game because i was too scared when i played it <laughs> i was younger then it's i just totally like screamed when i saw a zombie i was like goodbye <laughs> i mean doc- doctor who scares me so i can't do horror. doctor who doctor who scares you yeah what i never <laughs> i've never watched it but i heard that the angel episode is really scary yeah that was the episode perth you haven't watched doctor who 
No, I've ne- I've I've seen I saw one or two episodes at school because the teacher put it on, but apart from that I've never watched it before. I haven't Dude, seen it either. You would love it. I seriously, <laughs> I'm I'm such a Doctor Who like maniac. I love that show. <laughs> I got I got friends that are super into it and they tell me to watch it, but I just like to hear you him need to like watch just it. Yeah, but I like to hear my friend just tell me what goes on instead. You can do reaction videos from Doctor Who. <laughs> yeah, that's actually not a bad idea, but I'll yeah. That's the thing is like there's so many things that, like I've got a backlog of like so th- mm, another show that's on my backlog do. is this show called The Terror. It's got Domhnall Gleeson and the guy from is this ringing any bells? No. No. Oh, I <laughs> swore it's, it's a it's about a bunch of people they go off to the Antarctic because something happened to people down there and then it's like kind of like you don't know whether there's an actual monster or not. Anyway, it's called oh, The yeah. Terror and my friend told me to watch it and i've had it like ready to watch for like half a year and i just never mm-hmm. get around to watching it but it's okay i'll add doctor who to my shows. ongoing list of yeah, stuff to watch good good yep. <laughs> <laughs> i have a really random question yeah go for it a really random question like if you could live in a fantasy mm-hmm. world which one yes. would you live in okay i have thought about this many times but i just <laughs> it comes down to two like one obviously mm-hmm. pokemon is in there but the thing mm-hmm. about with Pokemon is that, like, do they die? And are there real mm. animals or are there only Pokemon animals? Because only the Pokemon, Pokemon that eat meat need to eat meat. So are they eating other Pokemon? So that, oh when you think God. about it that way, it's kind of gruesome. Mm. Yeah. Because like, you don't want to think about people, like, catching Magikarp and, like, roasting Magikarp and eating Magikarp. But oh, on the no. Pokemon anime, they've been eating – they eat fish that's, like, regular fish. Like, like, yeah. human world fish. Mm-hmm. So I want to – I mean, but, but Pokemon do die. I think that's been confirmed. Yeah. Okay, Sorry. Not to ruin like everyone's childhood. <laughs> Pokemon do die. No, I'm just joking. But it's between Pokemon and Harry Potter. Mm. Yeah, I get that. I love I love Star Wars. Mm-hmm. Me too. I love Star Wars, but I don't think it's a world where I want to live. And it's yeah. like Jedi's are the coolest, yeah. but like you want to be one. Like they don't. They just you know what I mean. Like it's just cool, but it's yeah. not a place to live. So I think Harry Potter seems like the most fun. Yeah, same. To live in. Yeah, yeah, because Star Wars is kind of like you have like the goody goody two shoes neutral Jedi's, and then you have mm-hmm. the other extreme yeah. side with the Sith. So you kind of you want something in between, <laughs> but <laughs> and it feels like a lot of people don't have anything to do with the actual wars. They just keep getting mm-hmm. caught up in the wars, yeah. and I don't really want to get yeah. caught up in all of that conflict. Yeah. So yeah, I, ag- yeah, I, I think agree. Harry Potter seems nice. Yeah, I agree. Like, I, I grew up on Harry Potter. I remember the first movie came out when I was 11 years old. So uh, so I was kind yeah. of starting Hogwarts with all all the oh, cast. That's, <laughs> that's funny because I was, I think I was six or seven when number one came mm-hmm. out. And then, mm-hmm. but I caught up to them because they yeah. only go up by one year, but we're going up mm-hmm. like two or three years. So I caught up yep. to them around like Prisoner of Azkaban. We're about mm-hmm. the same age. Oh, no, 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 no. I think Goblet of Fire, around Goblet of Fire. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And then, like, obviously, like, a- any little boy watching Harry Potter was, like, crazy about Hermione. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. My grandma is literally obsessed with Harry Potter. That's <laughs> really, really cute. <laughs> she even has a Dobby Teddy. Oh, oh she said grandma. <laughs> <laughs> that was so funny. Alexa's like, your grandpa? <laughs> <laughs> no. No. <laughs> Yeah, it's a, it's a good thing you can't see like my shelves behind me because I have like so much Harry Potter stuff. <laughs> really, what kind of stuff? Like besides the books, obviously. Like I have all the Lego sets. Dude, I got this Lego set when I was like nine, and mm-hmm. it was like a huge one. It was like a castle, and it was like four parts of the castle, and it was like a hundred and twenty, mm-hmm. hundred and forty bucks, like in mm-hmm. Australia. Yeah. And I brought it home and like some of like it wasn't in there. Mm-hmm. Sorry, this is no, 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 it's sorry. <laughs> it was like <laughs> I just like decided by myself there was crap, but, but that's one of the things I wish I kept when I was like mm-hmm. younger. But I think like you know, like when you build a Lego set and at one point in time it comes apart and mm-hmm. you're like, how am I going to put this thing back together? Yeah. And you never put it back the same way. And then your mm-hmm. mom's like, oh, like some like lady down the street, her kid really likes Lego and she's like five years younger than you. And they're like, you want to give it to her? And you're like, okay, because you've I already moved so. on to like what else was interesting. Yeah. Yeah. And I, I bought like the the graphic designer who made like the books 
in the movies, like the advanced potions book and, and notebooks and stuff. I bought her, like, I bought them in, like, if you open, it's the same cover, like advanced potions cover, mm -hmm. but inside it's just a notebook. Oh, so awesome. I have, like, all of these different, like, uh, a Hogwarts, a history, and uh, yeah, a lot. Oh, that's awesome. And a lot of, like Marauders map and yeah. Ah, uh, nice. This is not. I have like eleven wands. Eleven? <laughs> yeah, I have eleven wands. Wow. <laughs> yep. <laughs> That's a nice one collection. I couldn't yeah, even yeah, yeah. like think of eleven people's whose wands I'd actually want. <laughs> I have my favorite is a Sirius Blacks. Uh huh. I don't know what it looks like off the top of my head, but I'm sure it's cool. Yeah, it, it's it's like really simple <laughs> oh, with uh, like I'll some squirrels. <laughs> yeah, and I've got Hermione's. Nice. nice. Those are my favorites. Yeah, I've been doing like audiobooks. Oh, awesome! On Wait, on YouTube, you're recording them. Yeah. Wow. And I've been doing that since the beginning of December, and I edit everything. Or I did edit everything myself at the beginning. So I I was listening to like. A recording of one chapter took probably like 30 minutes and that's after editing was done so i had like 45 minutes of mm -hmm. that i had to edit down to 30 minutes because i was saying so many mistakes since i'm doing <laughs> it in english which isn't my native language <laughs> mm -hmm. so i was sitting there for like two three hours editing down that clip and mm -hmm. after that i sort of I don't mind listening to myself as much anymore. Mm. If I've had a long break, it mm. starts getting a little cringy again. But <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's okay. I think you guys have nice voices, so it's all good. Oh, thank, thank you. you. <laughs> so if you just, if, 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 if I'm sorry, <laughs> I'm uh, not saying mm. words again. Tongue twister. Yeah. No, I was just saying the word if, and I couldn't even get it out. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> <laughs> what was I going to say? So with the audiobooks. Is it just like a hobby or you're like, is it's like a job or like you're writing your own, you're audio booking your own books? No, it's just a hobby. Um, are you booking BL novels? Some oh, of them are cool. Thai. Mm -hmm. Like one of them, I talked to the author and she gave me permissions to do like eight chapters. Oh, that's awesome. And like, I'm not good enough to like get paid for it. <laughs> <laughs> kind of thing. So I'm just doing it for fun. Like I have a full-time job. I own a bunch of dry cleaners. Wow. That's so random. Yeah. <laughs> How did you come to own a bunch of dry cleaners? Well, it's a, sort of like a family business. Uh, okay. I'm like fourth generation dry cleaner. <laughs> like, yeah, I grew up, I grew up like cleaning clothes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yep. So we own like the second largest dry cleaners in Norway. Wow. So, yeah. We got ninth spot in the world, like of all oh, the wow. dry cleaners in the world. We got so we're ninth. So we're dry cleaning royalty at the moment. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> but like now I have to be home because of my broken arm mm -hmm. and I'm a workaholic. So mm -hmm. it's difficult. So I need to do stuff other like find something to do so the audiobooks and the podcast is really nice but you didn't break it dry cleaning did you <laughs> no <laughs> <laughs> it was like we had snow for the first time this winter mm -hmm. like two weeks ago and mm -hmm. because i live on the like southern coast it's really mild weather so the snow became slush and then mm -hmm. overnight it froze solid mm -hmm. and then it started snowing again. So mm -hmm. I was walking from my car to the house and I uh, didn't see like the slab of ice on the ground under the fresh snow and I fell and landed on my wrist. So that sucks. Ouch. Like, yeah, no one mm -hmm. wants to break their wrist, but you know, like mm -hmm. if you're in a car crash, then you're like, oh, well, like, yeah, I broke my wrist. Yeah. <laughs> like, if you had to break like that would be i would be so frustrated with myself if i oh yeah yeah it was yeah. really bad and i kind of i didn't have the phone on me it was in my car and oh. there was no people around so i, I had to kind of crawl off this oh. hill to get into the house where my boyfriend was at home <laughs> luckily uh, 
So, so he wait, drove me to the hospital. <laughs> what was I going to say? I was going to say, wait, so did you know you broke it straight away? Or was it just like sore first? It didn't actually hurt at first. It was kind of just in, I saw that like the bone was in like, a different position it just looked weird <laughs> so i got back to the house and inside before i suddenly like it started hurting like hell and i just i remember telling my boyfriend like i've broken this <laughs> oh, we see, need to go so it took probably like three hours before they actually corrected it so oh, i was nice. in pain for a really long time mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. mm. Yeah, it was really bad. And like I said earlier that it's been two weeks and it wasn't healing properly. So they had to go in and put like this steel plate in mm -hmm. to hold the wrist in place. Uh, I see. So that's why I had the surgery this week. All right. uh -huh. So you said like another six weeks? Yeah, <sighs> exactly. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So no dry cleaning for six weeks then. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. But they keep sending me like paperwork and stuff <laughs> to oh, make me that do sucks. Yeah. You should get that. So you're just get writing something. everything with your left hand now? Yeah. Well, it's good to have something to do. I mean, just sitting at <laughs> home, it's so boring. I like I've been working since I was fourteen. I just I can't stop. <laughs> That's really, really cool because I don't have mm. that work ethic. <laughs> yeah, no, I mean like No, but I mean like I wish no this it's and it's one of the like I feel like it's one of the hardest things to fix is like mm. changing like not being lazy because mm -hmm. it's like mm -hmm. it's not about like wanting to do stuff like there's heaps of stuff like I want to do it's just so yeah. hard to do it and like I see yeah. it happening around me like, bring yourself like to do it. yeah like I'm not trying to like throw my brother under the bus but I can see <laughs> him like not he's not mimicking me but I see him like going down the same path I did and I'm not like doing nothing like you know what i mean like it, the thing is i'm more mm -hmm. like the if you get told to do something then i do it and give it my 100 mm -hmm. but it's just that yeah. i lack the self-motivation to do stuff when there's no one pushing me to do it mm. yeah so like i get that i'm like that if i'm not really strict with myself i too have like very easily can just sit down in the couch and just watch tv the whole day without even realizing what i'm watching mm. so i kind of i need to not give myself the chance to procrastinate at all so it's yeah. really even, you need to be really difficult. strict yeah yeah, yeah. i don't learning. have that strength i'm doing my master's right now so i oh, cool. write a lot of papers <laughs> and mm -hmm. a lot of them are like semester long papers and it's just like you know like they're like your master's level so you can manage it on yourself and so like i'm always the person who yeah. leaves everything to like the last week until i have to do it so i'm writing like 20 page papers in like five days time and i've like tried so hard to change it but it just i don't have the the strength to do it it's hard man it really is difficult yeah yeah i'm just a type person who goes to work and then goes to sleep <laughs> <laughs> you know that's okay this is totally random I'm being serious. This is going to be really mm -hmm. random. When I say it, you're going to be like, what? Now, I'm also just like Coco. Like, I, when I have work, I do the work and then I come home and I rest or like do whatever the mm -hmm. hell I want to do. Mm -hmm. But guys, it's important to get like financially educated and like start mm -hmm. setting stuff up. And yeah. I don't want to be that preachy guy that's like, hey guys, so I read a book <laughs> and it's really going to change your life when you read the book. I'm not here to promote books. Like, I'm just going to say the name of any books or anything like that. But Mm -hmm. Like, I started, like, learning about, like, you know, like, different types of, like, assets and investments and stuff. And just, like, I just realized that it's really stuff that they should be teaching in schools. Yeah. Like, mm -hmm. when you're, yeah. like, 15 and 16. Yeah, especially, like, just, like, taxes and stuff. Like, oh like mm -hmm. you come out of school, you know, even know, like, how to do a tax form or, like, yeah. or, like what's, like, required. So, anyway, mm -hmm. I'm just saying, like, for all the listeners out there, guys, please just, like, do some financial yeah. like, research. It's really... Yeah, we don't do tax forms, yeah. But just do it all. Wow. That's nice. what? 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 We don't do tax like tax, you know, like if we would do what we like get a pay from a job and you would have to like fill to do your taxes each year. Yeah, we don't do that. It just gets all mapped. We took off our pay. Oh, <laughs> but then if you get extra income from like other sources, then you need to like notify. Oh, let's not let's not turn this let's not turn this podcast. <laughs> into just, yeah, yeah. I understand what you're saying. So wait, sorry, just one sec. So there's two questions I have. One is, Coco, where are you from in America? And also, what are you studying at the moment? Oh, Alexa. Alexa. 
Alexa. Yes. Sorry, Alexa. That's okay. I Let grew- me ask the question again. Oh, no, no, no. Let's not ask the question again. Let's just keep going. <laughs> My dad, <sorry. laughs> I'm from Philadelphia. So I grew up like oh, outside awesome. of the city. Yeah, but uh-huh. I live in Pittsburgh now, which is also in Pennsylvania because I'm doing school out here. And I'm doing my Mm -hmm. master's in clinical psychology. So Mm -hmm. the goal is like to get my PhD, hopefully, but I'm taking it like one degree at a time right now. I see. Mm -hmm. That's really cool. I really want to go to America someday. Just like to see, like, to to see, like to to, to go on holiday. But because like, I'm a huge fan of MBA. Uh, Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. I don't want to, you know, that's the thing. And it's like, anything political nowadays you feel so yeah like, it's you have to be very yeah. it? you, don't want, you don't want to alienate people and stuff like that mm-hmm. and then it's like but i mean like looking at it from an outsider but yeah like i mean like the thing is like a lot of like western countries like australia or whatever like we grow up mm-hmm. like quite americanized like yeah. i mean like mm-hmm. not like to a huge degree but for example like i grew up with the simpsons literally like every day mm-hmm. six o'clock like oh, i'll God. come home watching. yeah same here <laughs> And like, you know, all the TV shows, like, you know, like, I don't know, like, I grew up watching like Seinfeld, the Drew Carey show, Just mm-hmm. Shoot Me, like all these random TV shows like that. And then like, Same. you go into like Friends and stuff. So like, even though have not having been there, there's like a kind of like connection, I guess, Yeah. going on. Mm-hmm. But anyway, looking at it from a semi-outsider, yeah, there's some crazy stuff going on over there. Yeah. Like real mm-hmm. crazy stuff. Yeah, I'll be the first one to yeah. say as the American in the, in the podcast, we're a mess right now. <laughs> yeah. But, you know, hopefully yeah. things but are... No, but that's... But back yeah. to going to about Philadelphia. I really like the Philadelphia 76ers. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. I don't really follow sports, but I did I did go to a ah. 76ers game once when I was like very young and I just had no idea what was going on. <laughs> but, you know, I have some pride because I'm from there. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah, the hometown pride. Yeah, I got the same thing <laughs> in Australia. Like we have like football that we play in Australia called like mm-hmm. Aussie Rules, AFL. And like, yeah, like, even though my team's not the best, like, yeah, that's the team that I'll probably like, yeah, always like go for. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But have you guys seen the movie Silver Linings? Oh no, wait, that's not. Wait, is that, yeah, that is Philadelphia yeah, Silver, Silver Linings, Linings Playbook, Playbook. Mm-hmm. with Bradley Cooper. God, I love yeah, that that's movie place so Philly. much. I was it's in love so with that movie good. when it first came out. Mm-hmm. Me too. I, I and I saw it at an outdoor cinema uh, with my oh. girlfriend at the time. And it was just like, I, cause I didn't know what the movie was about, but like, I yeah. like Bradley Cooper and I like Jennifer Lawrence. So I was like, oh, I'll check it out. Mm-hmm. And it was just like, guys, if you haven't seen it, it's sorry, so good. sorry. I'm talking while I'm sipping. <laughs> um, <laughs> it's, it is amazing. It really is amazing. Sorry. Let's move on to something. <laughs> I have a really short story. Mm-hmm. I remember my high school girlfriend for i can't remember if it was like a birthday or like an anniversary or something but i got her hermione's wand and also a time turner Mm -hmm. and when the time turner came i was like i really really want to keep this for myself (laughs) (laughs) like it was really cool like yeah it's it's from like the official like harry potter merchandise website Mm -hmm. and it's Mm -hmm. really really awesome those are super cool Mm -hmm. and they're really good quality those you get from the official merch Mm -hmm. and I remember, like, because at that time, like, this is, like, way back in the day when, like, internet shopping wasn't huge yet. And, you know, there's, like, still, like, kind of, like, a wariness about using credit cards online. It's like, Dad, please, can I buy this? And he's like, oh, I don't know. Like, they're going to, like, steal my money. And I was like, no, I promise. So, like, yeah. That worked out well. They didn't steal our money. Do you cook a lot, Perth? <laughs> no. <laughs> like, no. so my 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 mom's a really good cook. So in I do Perth's Kitchen like on mm-hmm. YouTube yeah. where I occasionally like make some Thai dishes and stuff. So pretty much my mum will teach me how to make it. I'll make it with my mum and then I'll make it on the video. That's nice. Yeah. But no, I don't really cook at all. Mm. What's like your favorite thing that you made? <laughs> like, to be honest, like I really haven't, I barely made anything. Like I've made like three or four different dishes. No, not including breakfast. Like anyone can make breakfast, like eggs, bacon, mm-hmm. and some sausages yeah. mm-hmm. or whatever. Like that, I don't really consider that making something. But I guess like green curry was probably the most. But like I had like my mum watching over me, so I didn't feel like that real sense of accomplishment. If you know what I mean? Oh uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But I make like nice fruit smoothies. 
I get the balance nice. of the different fruits, right? Because sweet. like a lot of people, they don't, the thing is when you mix a banana with a mango, the mango is quite overwhelming. So you need to put in mm-hmm. a lot of banana and a, a lot of red fruits like raspberries or whatever, like strawberries, they are also mm-hmm. quite strong as well. So you don't need, mm-hmm. you don't need to put in like so much of those. I'm a huge banana fan, by the way. <laughs> No innuendos, like I just meant like. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I, I know. I felt like the, there's like a little bit of a silence. Like, if, if we were doing this live, like people would just be like staring at each other. Like, oh. Oh. <laughs> like no, yeah, no. Yeah. I just, I, I really like like things made out of bananas, like banana smoothies, mm-hmm. banana cakes, banana bread, like anything, yeah. like fried banana bananas bread. boiled. Oh in Thailand, they boil bananas, but not the bananas oh. that we eat like in Western countries. It's a different okay. type of banana. They're like smaller, like more condensed like oh. compacted like they're really like thick like uh, not thick but they yeah anyway they yeah i know i know what you mean <laughs> <laughs> do you like really spicy food or i do but i can't eat it because i just start yeah. sweating and then i'll be on the toilet like all day the next day so yeah. Yeah. that's yeah. about that's like the, the nicest way i can say it like i like the mm-hmm. taste but i just can't handle it like i don't know why i just sweat profusely yeah. like out of my face yeah same like just like a waterfall <laughs> comes down like on me so i like it by yeah do you got oh now i know you have it in the uk but you don't have it in the us do you have nando's in norway no uh okay so the thing is so i would go to nando's and i would get mm-hmm. mild and even on mild mm-hmm. depending on how fast i ate it because like obviously if you eat something spicy quickly all the spiciness is like gonna like build up really fast as yeah. opposed to like eating it like pacing yourself mm-hmm. so if i eat mild nandos which is not that hot obviously because it's called mild if i eat that really quickly <laughs> then i'm going to start sweating that's kind of like how much spiciness i can handle yeah i'm like norwegian food is really usually bland um so <laughs> <laughs> so i can't handle a lot like we have like this cup noodle mm-hmm. uh that says mild on it mm-hmm and that's for Norwegian standards. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and that actually makes my throat tickle. <laughs> oh my goodness. So Sounds like something even... that I'd enjoy. <laughs> yeah, probably. <laughs> but you know no, what's kind it's... of funny? Is like, mm-hmm. just, I mean, like, not in a racial way, but like looking at Norwegian people, like, you just don't mm-hmm. look like you would be able to handle spicy food. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I get it. I get what you yeah. mean. It, yeah. It's kind of fun. my boyfriend, he loves spicy food like he every time i make dinner he has to have like this extra spice that he just puts Uh, all over his food because i can't handle it so yeah people get addicted to the spice Mm -hmm. i've seen it like people like they they just love spice like they'll put like a little bit of chili flakes like on spaghetti or like whatever they eat they need Mm -hmm. like spice Mm -hmm. otherwise like everything else is just like too bland Mm mm-hmm like I can't go to a restaurant here in Norway that's like Indian or Thai because usually the food is just <laughs> even the mild stuff is just uh, too yeah. much for me. That's understandable. <laughs> mm. So I've never been to Thailand, but I really want to go. But I'm questioning if I'll survive it. Yeah, eat anything. Oh no, there's heaps of things you can eat that aren't spicy. <laughs> like if you just eat like fried chicken and with like sweet chili sauce, or okay. no, there's yeah. heaps of uh, non-spicy options available. But the only thing that's I would good. recommend would be careful of is obviously just if like from what i've heard from you just now just don't even go near mm-hmm. anything spicy because i've asked yeah. for like not very spicy before and it just killed me so yeah yeah but there are like literally like non-spicy dishes so i'm sure you'd still have a good time okay yeah yeah, yeah. that's good get it uh-huh. when the world becomes a little bit safer i'll uh i love to travel so i really want to go to thailand yeah yeah you should oh dude you could I'm going to make a promise on the podcast. If I'm in Thailand and then you come to Thailand, we can do like a podcast in person. Oh, like, I don't need to. Yes. Like, I, then my, I'm like thinking like, should I, should I check with my manager first? Like, no, no, no. I'll just make, I'll just make a promise on the podcast. <laughs> I've got a recording now. <laughs> yeah. You can use it as evidence next time. Yeah. Yeah. Perfect. You show up in Thailand and they're asking for you. You can't go back on your word. <laughs> 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 I keep the recording on my phone just like you said this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> Do you have any like places that you would really like to travel? I want to go that you back haven't to Japan been again. already. Well, the thing is, when I went to Japan, I only went to Tokyo. Mm-hmm. So okay. I really want to yeah. go to like Osaka and mm-hmm. like Kyoto and like, like Hokkaido and places like that. And then mm-hmm. other places. <laughs> but the thing is, this is like me being perfectly honest i feel like Mm -hmm. 
when people ask me, especially like fans ask me, what languages do you want to learn? Are there any other languages you want to learn? Or are there any mm-hmm. countries you want mm-hmm. to go to? I feel like if I don't, if like I leave out their country, then they're going to be like, oh, mm-hmm. like, you know yeah. what I mean? Like, <laughs> You're going to be sad. <laughs> yeah. yeah but, okay, but, let, but I'll just answer it like truthfully. So yeah, I want to go back to Japan again. I want to go mm-hmm. to America, but I don't know where mm-hmm. I want to go. Obviously like New York City seems nice. Like San Francisco seems yeah. nice, but I, I'm kind of like, I just like being in other countries. Like I'm not really mm-hmm. like the, I don't really like, like, I don't really make plans. I mean, I haven't yeah, had that many chances to be abroad, but I just want to go and just walk around the streets Explore. and just like, oh, like mm-hmm, this place yeah. looks nice. And just, yeah. So yeah, America and like Canada. See, the thing is, mm-hmm. I'm also, I'm a little bit of a scaredy cat. So like for ah. me, I tend to like pull towards languages where English can be like used mm-hmm. as like a means of communication. So like, yeah. UK, like Scotland. And then there's like, you know, like yeah. Scandinavia, like where everyone like speaks English and stuff. Like, yeah, I'm not, you don't I'm have not, to worry in Scandinavia. Yeah. I'm not like super adventurous. You know what I mean? Where like, mm-hmm. I'm going to like start even like for me, like for me, mm-hmm. like places like France and Italy seem a little bit like the language barrier frightens me a little bit. Yeah. 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 So I've been actually when I was in high school, so I was like in the orchestra and we go on like a music tour every couple of years. So we, I got to go to Europe for the first time. We went to Hungary, France, oh, Belgium, cool. and England, mm. but mm-hmm. like, obviously we were part of like the school. So we didn't get any f- free time. So actually I don't really have like clear memories of my time there. Like I mm-hmm. vaguely remember, like, I remember having fun with my friends, but I vaguely remember like what the whole kind of like architecture or like the feel of the country right. was like. But, yeah. but one funny thing was I remember going to, when I was in England, I would like, I don't know, I would say subconsciously, like maybe like go out of my way to make my Australian accent stronger so that they would be like, oh, like you're not from around here, are you? Like whatever. And then like, so I'd be like, oh yeah, actually I'm from Australia. And they're like, oh, Australia. Like, you know what I mean? So, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's fun. Yeah. yeah so, so, sorry, your question. Yeah, countries I want to go to. So, yeah, I okay, guess so like Japan, America, Canada. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like the thing is, like, I really want to, I, I'm like obsessed with the Godfather. Mm-hmm. And so it's not that I'm not, I don't have like an obsession with like Sicily, but like, I just feel like their culture. I mean, no, no, but ev- no, I don't want to say like just Italy, but every, like, you know, every country has their own like food culture, but I just yeah. feel like there's something that's like pulling me towards like Italy. And I want to like eat all like pasta and like, I mean, I know you can mm. eat it anywhere, but obviously it's not the same. Like, it's it's there, different so. when you're yeah. there. Yeah. I, I, I've yeah. been to Italy because of work sometimes. And it's, oh. uh, it's really nice. The only thing I, I don't like about Italian food is like the small sizes. Like you get a lot of like cheese and mm-hmm. meat and stuff that you just like sort of pick up with a small fork and eat by itself. <laughs> so and that never really i'm I'm not used to that so my stomach didn't really like it but i the pasta Uh, and pizza and everything is just amazing i want to eat the ice cream i love ice cream yeah Yeah, that's good gelato Mm. yeah yep and then other countries i mean like obviously because of like k-dramas now i want to go to korea Mm, same i was supposed to go this year and then COVID happened and really? so now it's kind of postponed that indefinitely sucks. yeah mm. was it just a holiday or you had like yeah. something going on over there I like have been learning Korean for a couple years I haven't nice. been studying as much this year because just COVID like kind of killed my motivation a little bit but yeah, yeah. I was gonna go yeah, yeah. for like two weeks over my birthday back in October and then you know, the world went to shambles. So now I'm just going to go when I can. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, that's so cool that you took up learning Korean. I also yeah. wanted to learn, especially after I got into K-dramas. And some people mm-hmm. told me that like the, the letters are quite easy to understand. Yeah, like, it's really easy. The to writing learn. system is easy and the, gram- yeah. the grammar is similar to Japanese. But I just feel like, nah, like it's... <laughs> <laughs> I want to improve my time Japanese more. Like it's right. not at a level where I can like be like super proud of it. Like I'm proud of it, but like not enough. So mm-hmm. yeah. Like if I picked up another language, I'd kind of be like, ah. Oh, yeah. And language is something more. like you need to constantly keep it up. Like yeah. I lived in Wisconsin for a year and obviously I was speaking fluently back then. And then I got back home. I didn't use English as much and I started like stuttering and just like, I can hear 
like if I think about it in my head, it sounds perfect, but when it comes out of my mouth, it won't come out right, mm -hmm. and it annoys the hell out of me. <laughs> yeah, it happens to me like all the time. It happened to me like today, like mm -hmm. in this interview, like I couldn't remember words. Well, that's yeah. why I called mm -hmm. myself. What did I call myself? A romantic comedy whore or something like that. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> but actually, I have a question for Alexa and Coco. So my experience, like growing up in Australia, is that if you come across a bilingual person, it's like super special in terms mm -hmm. of like the quantity. Like there's none. Like everyone just speaks English because Australia is also a continent. Mm -hmm. We don't have any neighboring countries like that's connected except for right. like New Zealand, but even they're not connected. And also they also speak English. But like, and then when I moved to Thailand, like everyone speaks English or yeah, like a lot so of people weird. speak Thai and something else. So, and then mm -hmm. like, but like now I can speak three languages. So I'm like grateful for like the experience of like being able to like, you know, experience other cultures mm -hmm. and things like that. But is that kind of the situation in America and England as well? Is it like uh, most people are like, what is it called? Monolingual? What yeah. looks like of someone who only speaks yeah. one language? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's definitely the case here. Like most of our our schools and stuff will teach a second language, but like I learned Spanish like from third grade through 12th grade, but like our mm -hmm. education system, the way they teach languages is so bad that mm -hmm. I feel like no one retains mm -hmm. it after they graduate from school, unless they like really mm -hmm. keep up with studying it. So like, unless your parents are like teaching you the language or the culture, I feel like uh -huh. most people are not are going to be like monolingual like our education system does not put an emphasis on people learning multiple mm -hmm. languages here mm -hmm. yeah wait so is england the same yeah yeah in schools they just teach german and french um, um, but no one really learns it properly <laughs> not me anyway yeah yeah, yeah. Like in the Norwegian system, we learn English, like proper English really early on. And then we get like a third language to learn. Like That's we so can cool. choose between German, French and Spanish when we get to like seventh grade. Mm -hmm. But like not a lot of people actually learn those three. It's more like the English is more like a part of the daily life. Mm -hmm. So it's easier for everyone to retain. But that's really recent. Like my parents, when I was younger, they couldn't talk English at all. So mm -hmm. it was sort of a shift in society that everything started, like shows and stuff started coming from America and mm -hmm. they stopped dubbing everything. And yeah, so <laughs> <laughs> English got like more common in normal society. And now everyone, basically everyone speaks English. Yeah, that's, I'm so jealous of like, yeah. especially like Norway, Sweden, Denmark, those kind of mm. places where like English is just like a given, like everyone just like, well, not, I'm sure not everyone, but like most, mm. the large majority of everyone speaks like, not just like, like understandable English, but like actual, like mm -hmm. good, good English is really cool. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I wish, I wish that like we were better about languages here. Cause now I'm like struggling to learn a new one as an adult. And I'm just like, it would have been so much easier if I had tools to this when I was younger and my brain was more like open to learning languages like i mm -hmm. i always feel mm -hmm. so jealous of people who were like introduced to it at a young age dude i feel the exact same way because like you can learn a language when you're an adult like it's harder but yeah. like to get the actual accent right is like yeah. not, mm -hmm. not impossible but it can like you know verge on impossible like the actual like the nuances of like pronunciation and stuff but mm -hmm. if you're a kid you don't even need to think about it just like just, your brain's just like a sponge. You learn just like it, exactly. It and your brain yeah. just takes it in. I was always mm -hmm. thinking like maybe in the future, like if I had kids and I would like, there was like a caretaker or something. Not that I, I want or need a maid or anything like that. I'm not, like, you mm -hmm. know what I mean? No, but like if there was like a nanny or something or like a babysitter, mm -hmm. then like it would be cool to like have like someone who speaks another language and then they can just talk yeah. to the kid like in that language. And yeah, like, yeah, 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 mm. yeah. Yeah, because when they're small, it's the best time to actually teach them stuff like mm -hmm. I try to teach like I have a daughter she's um five years old and mm -hmm. I try to like teach her a little English now and then so she'll have a little heads up and it's kind of incredible how fast she's picking mm -hmm. things up mm, so cool. it's really interesting but it depends on the kid too like she's really excited about learning English because she hears it in her daily life a lot like TV and just in general all over so yeah 
-hmm. It's nice to be able to kind of teach her that early on. I don't think you pay anything in Thailand. Yeah, right? Only if you want to get like, for example, if you want to get like VIP, you want to watch extra episodes Mm -hmm. and yeah, you got to pay. But everything's like free. I mean, it's just like American TV. Like if it's on like a network television series and you just watch it for free. Yeah. Yeah. Like I watch WeTV and I have a VIP account, but Mm -hmm. I need to use a VPN to watch most of it. Oh, okay. But that's fine. It it works. Okay. That's good. And you're guaranteed the subtitles because if you use like the Vicky site, they're fan subbed. So Uh, it takes a really long time sometimes to get subs on it. Yeah. But the only, I I can't say anything about like WeTV, but Mm -hmm. it's just kind of sucked because the thing with the VIP service was that like WeTV, it's like if you screenshot it or if you record it, it doesn't turn black like Netflix. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So after VIP came out, people would just take the extra yeah. VIP episodes and just upload them to YouTube, which like yeah. really sucked. But like, yeah. which is like also inevitable. I mean, mm-hmm. like, not that like, you know, humanity is bad or anything like that, but it's no. just like people growing up in our generation to expect people not to do that is just crazy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I remember, didn't my engineer have like a really big problem with people uploading the episodes early yeah. to YouTube? So. It was available on WeTV, on WeTV countries, on like countries mm-hmm. that have WeTV, and then everyone else could watch it on YouTube. Yeah. And then, yeah, fans from the WeTV countries would take the VIP episodes and then upload them on YouTube. And those were getting mm-hmm. like, like really hundreds of thousands. Yeah. 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 And then, so by the end of it, they just uploaded the VIP episodes onto YouTube. Yeah, I heard that. Yeah, it's it's really sad because like, there's a lot of fans who don't like recognize that they're kind of stopping the show from actually earning what they're supposed to like earn. And if it's something good that you're watching and you're watching it from unofficial links, when you could watch it from free official ones, yeah. then like just because you're lazy or whatever to find the official mm-hmm. ones, that's sort of wrong. We on our Discord server, we really crack down on people like going for unofficial links guys i know exactly what you're talking about i went through a similar mm-hmm. thing with like online manga mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. so like when i was in high school i want to read the latest episode of naruto oh, sorry yeah. the latest episode read the latest chapter of naruto right yeah <laughs> so like i would go in online and read illegal scans or like before yeah. illegal scans came out i'll yeah, be like same. looking for like same. spoilers and stuff mm-hmm. but then mm-hmm. after like finally getting to know the industry and what it's about and be more passionate about it I realize like how mm-hmm. damaging it is. And mm-hmm. that being said, it's not the same as before. Now there's like a Shonen Jump app called like, I'll just look it up just in case you're like interested in it. There's a official application called Manga Plus. So it's actually yeah. made yeah. by the company with English uh, translations and they drop the oh, chapters like even faster than scan lessons can. Oh, uh, that's can nice. Yeah. yeah. So, I mean like, but it's kind of sad that they had to do that. Right. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Like they had to like, but I mean, it had like ads on it and stuff like that. So they still get revenue. But anyway, what was I going to say? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So anyway, so when I go on like the manga Reddit and things like that, or like when I, I follow a lot of, not on my public Twitter, on like my private Twitter, I just mm-hmm. follow a bunch of manga translators because like mm-hmm. it's stuff I'm interested in. And they're constantly mm-hmm. like in this like debate with fans and people just can't stop justifying their actions Mm -hmm. of scan lading Mm -hmm. and bringing out series like at the end of the day like you don't have permission from the author and then they they start making this Mm -hmm. argument that like yeah but look at the publicity we're getting them like it's so yeah it's such a popular series if we never if we never did it then like how would they get you know it's like guys like come on like anyway so i know i know like what you're just i can totally relate to what you're talking about yeah yeah it's like the authors or whoever the artist that makes things should get the not only the credit for it but actually earn some money for it Mm -hmm. like Mm -hmm. what we say on the server all the time is that if you're going to the unofficial links you're not supporting the industry which means that you'll get lesser quality shows and Mm -hmm. like less bls and 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 it's easy to find the official links, especially if you have a community like a mm. Discord server or something where you can just like someone is going to post the official link. So like we have people who go on Line TV and get the links from there. So international fans can watch exclusive stuff from there and WeTV and all these other ones. So mm-hmm. 
So yeah, you, you should always support like official stuff. Yeah. And also, yeah. it's not just about revenue, like especially like with the YouTube, because like I mean, like I like we we're talking about before, like YouTube is not super like profitable. Mm -hmm. But the thing is, it's about like like if you took all the views from the pirated videos and put them onto the mm -hmm. official, I mean, like when you're looking like for sponsors for season two, or you're looking exactly. at like whatever, it's just like yeah, it's that kind mm -hmm. of stuff that's like more damaging than like anything else. Yeah. Yeah, because number speaks. Like everyone yeah, wants numbers. Exactly. So Oh, I wanted to ask Alexa, are there many yes. guys in the BL community in America? Or is it mostly girls over there as well? I would say it's mostly mostly girls for us over here. I don't know, it's hard because I'm mostly involved with it online. So like people kind of come uh, from see, everywhere. I, I feel like mm -hmm. it's not as big in America as it is in like other countries, like within like other Asian countries and stuff like that. But from what I've mm -hmm. seen, it, it's pretty much like only girls. And like there are some guys who are like part of the LGBT community who are into mm -hmm. it. But like in general, the fan base is pretty much female. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. well, that, I mean, it kind of makes sense, I guess. Mm -hmm. But that being said, this is totally like, this goes back to your first question. Have I ever watched other BOs? To be honest, I think that if I wasn't in one, then I probably wouldn't give them a go. Mm -hmm. Not because mm -hmm. like, I'm like, ew, guys kissing. Like, I'm more just like, <laughs> it doesn't sound like something that like interests me. Yeah. yeah. Because like, no, I mean like, no, if you're talking about like my personal values, like, I'm totally like, LBGT. Like, I, I am not like, oh, oh my gosh, how do you say this? Yeah, like, I, I get what I, you mean. Yeah, everyone you're an ally. Is, like, yeah, everyone can do, as long as like, as long as no one's getting hurt, like people should just do love whatever they like, want. Like, mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. Who cares? But that being said, after being in a BL series and now I'm going to be in more and having watched my own, I'm like way more mm -hmm. like yeah, interested. Like I remember there was like some people in the chat, some Japanese members, they recommended some like yaoi manga for mm -hmm. me to read. And then I went mm -hmm. to the shop to go buy it, but they didn't have it at the shop. But uh, yeah, it's totally something that I would watch or read. Yeah. The thing about yaoi is that there's some interesting plots. They kind of... Like you have the cherry magic one, like mm -hmm. a thirty-year-old virgin getting magical powers. <laughs> oh, I didn't know he was a virgin. <laughs> yeah, 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 that's what why oh, he okay. gets the magical powers. <laughs> oh no! So, wait, is it is there like a plot line about him like not wanting to lose the powers? Uh, yeah, that's some part of it. They don't touch on it as much I in the see. series, like the TV show, but. Mm. It's really interesting because you, you think like a show that's surrounded like or based on like a virgin would be more sexual kind it's, of, yeah, it's not. but it's not at all. <laughs> mm. Like you don't get a kiss even like they do the oh, typical really? Japanese. Yeah, they do the like elevators. The elevator door closes just as their mouths touch almost. Have you seen the Japanese boys love called Osan Zirabu? It's, I don't know what it's called in English. It might be called. Uh, I've heard about it, but I haven't seen it. That's good. And they kiss in that. Not yeah. like excessively, <laughs> but there is a, there is a yeah. visible kiss. Thing. But that's really funny. I, oh, oh my gosh. I can't believe I forgot. I watched that. Yeah, yeah. I've seen that. Yeah. Sorry. Sorry. I watched that like two or three years ago. It's, it's really funny. It's really quality. Mm. Yeah. No, sorry. I just remembered the reason why like Cherry Magic kept popping up on my radar was because all these fans kept telling me I look like. Keita Machida. I see it. Who yeah. plays mm, the guy. Yeah. No, I mean like, you know, like as as lookalikes go, <laughs> even I was like, oh, we kind of look similar when we smile, I guess. You know what I mean? Like, but yeah, 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 yeah. If you get the right photo, like with the same angle, then like, mm -hmm. yeah, there are some photos that look kind of similar, but it's true. Yeah, that's why it kind of kept popping up on my like yeah. social media feeds every now and then. <laughs> No, Yaoi has like a lot of interesting plot points in them. Some ridiculous, but um, <laughs> <laughs> but a lot of them are really good. So. That sounds interesting. I'll check those out. Oh, actually, I read one manga, but it, it's not Yaoi from the start. You don't know that. Mm. It's called, oh my gosh, I don't want to say pretentious. It's called Aori Fragu, but it means blue flag. The okay. English title is blue flag. And it just finished like recently. And it's like, you don't realize it's yaoi, but then like, you know, that's the thing. I feel like that's one thing that kind of in real life too. Mm -hmm. And also like TV series. One thing that helps people accept things I feel like is that 
they don't realize it at the beginning and mm-hmm. they've like accepted it up until they realize and so when mm-hmm. they realize when they realize they feel like oh like it's just the same as everything else you know what i mean right. like yeah it's some, sort of I, natural I, yeah like i know like a lot of people will have like very different experiences but like you mm-hmm. know I've like grown up with like friends who have come out and things like that. And, Mm -hmm. you know, their parents have reacted in various ways, but I feel like, like, so so let's just take the example of like TV show. You're watching a whole Mm -hmm. TV show or you're reading a like manga series and you don't realize it's Yaoi and you're like heavily invested in these characters. Then you find Mm -hmm. out and you still like love the characters just as much as you did before. And you're like, Oh, I didn't realize it's Yaoi. And then you just like keep going and you're like, Oh, Yaoi's cool. Now I'm going to like keep, you know, (laughs) delve into more or like people in yeah. real life like maybe they're like adverse is not the right word i wasn't good at english in high school <laughs> like people who are like they don't they're not for or they're not against like just like whatever or even yeah, people that true. might have like negative thoughts towards mm-hmm. oh yeah you true <laughs> or people that might have like negative thoughts towards the like lgbt community and then they they're like they their own child is that and then they're like oh well i love my child right. and you know ideally ideally right ideally. like oh i love my child <laughs> yeah <laughs> and, and you know and they're still my child so then it's fine you know what i mean so i feel like yeah. that's like a decent gateway i agree into yeah it's true yep <laughs> <laughs> uh, no because the thing is i know like there are people out there that who have had bad experiences coming out so i don't want to make it sound mm-hmm. like coming out is going to change you know the, right. change the world or change your parents and make yeah. people accept you because it's not i've just yeah. been lucky enough that the lgbtq Sorry. What's the best way to say it? I don't know. I don't, I don't know what's the best yeah, way. Yeah, that to... works. Uh, LG, LGBTQ, like people mm-hmm. around me in my life have yeah. all had quite positive experiences. So mm-hmm. I'm kind of lucky in that way that to me, it seems like a positive experience, but I'm sure it's not because I've heard stories, but not. I sort of think it's like, it's a good thing that BL is sort of becoming a little more mainstream because it's sort of showing people that it's not abnormal thing like it's Mm -hmm. it's just Mm -hmm. normal it takes away the mystery and the like fear people have of something Mm -hmm. if you just Mm -hmm. show them how normal it is Mm -hmm. so i i think it's it's really good thing that we're seeing this growth Mm. in boys love so it's it's really exciting 